You know if my old bowling shoes are up here? I didn't have them. You put them somewhere. What is that? Welcome to Demolition Ranch! It's cold out here. We're filming first thing in the morning and it's, we were used to like Texas weather because it got hot for a few days and then it got cold again. So welcome to Chili Demolition Ranch. Today we're shooting some kinetic sand. This actually, you know, we make jokes a lot about people like saying, hey, you should test this when no one ever said that. This one actually gets talked about all the time. People want to know how good is kinetic sand at stopping a bullet. We've tested like regular sand, we've tested dirt, we've tested all kinds of like natural mediums to see if it'll stop stuff, but never this kinetic sand. It's just like a sand that kind of moves kind of weird. You can see if you like bunch it up and then you like let it go, it just kind of starts melting back. It kind of has properties similar to solids and similar to liquids. And you can do some other stuff. Look at this cute little knife. It's a little baby knife. Someone sent that. You can do things like this, like cut it like it's a tomato. If I had a bigger knife, that would've worked better. But you can also just kind of see how it just moves, kind of like a liquid. It's really weird, really fun to play with stuff. So kinetic sand is weird, kind of is in between a solid and a liquid, which both of those are usually pretty good at stopping bullets. So we bought about 70 pounds of it. We're gonna put the lids on here so we don't lose too much sand with every shot. And we're gonna shoot it and see if these things can stop a bullet. They should be able to, because it's still pretty dense. Even though it moves like a liquid, it is fairly dense like sand. Let's do it. 22 long rifle out of our kel <laughs> This is the one that I always make jokes about, how we need to clean it, and then we never clean it. 22s are notoriously very dirty guns. Okay, we're good to go. Let's just drop that. I think it's clean enough to fire. This is a 22 long rifle going at our kinetic sand. Probably not gonna be very aggressive on this one. Hit right here. Nothing came out the back. I am not surprised. We're not gonna go digging for that. One thing, oh, that's hard. One thing a kinetic stand stopped a 22. Let's shoot a real bullet at it. One we haven't shot in a while, the 357 Magnum out of the Desert Eagle. This is my little baby Desert Eagle. I guess I can't really say baby Desert Eagle because there's actually a Desert Eagle called the baby Desert Eagle and it's not this. This is my adolescent Desert Eagle. 357 Mag, that packs a big punch. Probably gonna go through the first and into the second. 
Wow. That couldn't have been any closer. Look at that. So we hit the back wall, but did not go through. So we should be able to find that pretty easily. There it is. That's crazy to deform that bullet that much in sand. It also dried it out. You can see that sand down there is a little lighter colored. I don't know if that comes across on camera, but oh, that's weird. Pretty neat. Okay. Easily stopped a 357 Magnum. So let's go with something a little more powerful. Maybe something out of a little bit longer barrel. This stuff's weird. This is a bit of a smaller cartridge. The bullet actually is bigger. This is a 10 millimeter. We're shooting out of a rifle, a really nice rifle. The high point carbine. Uh, this gun actually did very good in our demolition ranch testing. So we're going to see how it works on this kinetic sand. We do still have two flashlights on it, just in case, in case it gets really dark all of a sudden. All right, 10 millimeter, that's a big powerful round coming out of a long barrel. <laughs> Terrible trigger. Another hit, I don't remember which one of those, a three to seven. That looks like, that looks like a new one. And, oh wow, that one went through. So that one went straight through, 10 millimeter, which is about the size of a 40 cal, but it's just going way faster. Nothing out the back of this, so our 10 millimeter is in there. Let's find it, it can't be far. So what's interesting to note is it was like, this stuff moving, it was cooking it. See how this sand right here is so light colored? It like cooks it, so it doesn't have that dark color anymore. It doesn't feel as wet. But in this one, it wasn't cooking it because it was probably going a lot slower. Where is it? Dang it, where is it? Oh, found it, there it is. Not deformed at all is our 10 millimeter. God, we're gonna have to shoot something more powerful now. We're gonna skip a few steps now and go straight to the 50 Beowulf. This big mamma jamma. So this thing is going way fast and has a very heavy bullet. So it should do some damage and it's all brass too. I saw something hit the dirt over there. That was a low shot, dang it. I forgot, we're really close. Yeah, I went through the table. Okay, we're gonna shoot that one again. Round two, all right, I'm gonna aim an inch over. Probably should have aimed like right at the top and not an inch over. Yeah, that was too high for sure. I aimed here first, hit here. I aimed here, hit here. I should have just aimed right here. I'm gonna aim right here. Actually, I'm gonna aim right there. It's gonna. It'll be perfect. Somehow we did hit every lid though. Big mistake. Big mistake, Matt. I know where to aim now. <laughs> I got her dialed in. Dang it, we're gonna be losing a lot of sand now that we don't have lids. Perfect shot. First try. <laughs> okay, obviously, going through, going through. Did not go through. Wow, stopped in the second one. Okay, so our bullet should be God, this stuff gets hard. Right down here somewhere. I can't find it, but look how cool this stuff is. So, I don't know, it may have come out the top. You can tell it came out right here on that shot. and went in right here, which was below the level, and it blew a lot out. It may have just blown that bullet out too. So, all I know is it will not go through two. We emptied our two back ones into the rest of them just to top them all off. So they're all full now. And then we put some things over them to try to save it from exploding out too much. This time we're gonna shoot it with a very fast round, a 308 out of a rifle. So this thing has much more penetrating power than the 50 Beowulf. We'll see what it does that kinetic sand. Out of this F1 firearms AR, Still lost a decent amount of sand. It's like our entry right there. Oh yeah, definitely went out. There's our exit, oh my gosh. So way bigger exit than the 50s, which is crazy. There's our exit. Did it go in? Yeah, right there. So there's our entry down there. Nothing came out here, so there's a 308 in here, most likely. There she is. 
it was about an inch in that hole right there. Very squished and stretched, but still pretty much all together and didn't go very deep at all. Maybe we should get a 50 cal that's a little more powerful than a 50 Beowulf. I was trying to figure out some way we could save this video, so I was like, what if we just make like a big sand castle, but this kinetic sand just, it just melts. Like as soon as we put it up here, it just starts falling off. We, we put this center block in here to try to build against something, but it still just like flows like liquid down. It's just constantly melting. So, oh my god, we're just losing sand by the second. Look at this. Like, this stuff is so weird. Just falling down. But it feels like normal sand. But then it's like, oh, you want me to stay up in a sand castle? Too bad. I'm just going to slink my way down to the ground like a liquid. It's like slow motion liquid is what's happening right now. All right, that's the best I got. If I build it any taller, it just starts shrinking again. It just flattens out into a big blob. So that is the best sand castle that the king of the demolition can build. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. That, that's really, you couldn't do any better. That's the best anyone in the whole world can do. 50 BMG this time out of the gold Barrett. Look how beautiful. So good. And we're shooting a blue tip, which is an incendiary round. So I want to see two things. Will the blue tip explode when it hits that sand? I think it will. I think it'll flash and explode. And will the 50 BMG go through the sand and break? the center block behind it. I also think it'll do that. I think it's gonna explode and continue through. Firing. <laughs> Very interesting. So it went through, exploded in the sand, threw sand everywhere. I saw the flash in there, but somehow did not break our center block. What the heck, dude? That's it. So there is our jacket. How hot are you? Very hot, very hot. Here's another piece of metal. Some little pieces. Teeny tiny little shrapnels. I'm just afraid I'm gonna grab something very warm. Ooh, all the sand is hot. Crazy. So that explosion went off right here, in the middle. So we had a little hump of sand right here. You can actually see where it came in. Looks like it probably started exploding right there. A little bit of black, boom, and then in here, really exploded. Threw our sand everywhere and left. That's probably half of the bullet. I don't know where the other half is. It may have gone out, but as you can see, nothing touched that. It doesn't look like the bullet even went all the way through because it looks like it came in here and then didn't hit any of the back half. Crazy. All right, I'm gonna dig around this a little bit and see if we can find anything else. Here's what I found. I think that entire bullet is in here. I just kept finding little tiny chunks, so there's probably a few more that we... There's, there's another one. A few more that we had not found yet that are still in there. But that entire 50 BMG stayed in the sand somehow. Also, I found this, which I think is our 22 bullet, because that does not look like a 50. But also, come check this out. We got sand all the way over here. On these center blocks, we got some sand over here, and there's a 20 foot radius of sand all the way around this whole thing where that explosion just chunked it everywhere. That much energy, but it kept all the pieces of the bullet in there, which is pretty crazy. So, I was thinking, if you're gonna fill sandbags to protect around your house, fill them with kinetic sand. It's gonna be a lot more expensive, but obviously it does a great job of stopping 50 BMGs. Also, we're gonna put one grain of sand in every purchase you make from Bunker Branding. Probably it's gonna be hard to find, maybe impossible, but don't, trust me guys, it's in there. One grain of sand for every one of you. There's at least a million, so you guys go ahead and start ordering shirts. Link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Demolition Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.